All right, guys, what is up? Sean Ames here from Heart of America FPV, and today we're gonna take a look at some goggles. I've got my trusty, definitely dusty HDOs. Been through a lot. I'm gonna take the antennas off here. But this specific set of HDOs is in pretty rough shape. Broke them the week before Champs last year. I had to kind of hack them together and get them to work. The DVR doesn't work any longer. This is my famous set of HDOs. I had posted a for sale post for these last week that got a lot of attention. <laughs> I've done this a handful of times now. I think I did the same thing when I sold my HDO 2s, but essentially just in the post, I, I listed all the things I didn't like about them. The intent wasn't really to trash Orca as much as just make a post that gets a lot of attention because I wanted to sell them. So nonetheless, the guys from Orca reached out to me, actually emailed me, asked if I wanted to send them in for warranty repair on several of the issues. So like I had a broken clip over here for the goggle strap. My fan was super noisy before. I mean, the noisiest fan I've ever heard. And now, I'm not sure if you can hear that. It's actually super quiet. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I also complained about the lack of adjustable field of view. And after I got them shipped back to Orca, they actually released a firmware update that now gives you a freestyle field of view or a racer field of view. I think they said the racer field of view is supposed to be about 33 degrees. I've been flying the HDOs for the last week, week and a half. When I got these in the mail, I fired them up to see if they updated the firmware for me and they did. From what I can tell, I didn't like A, B test them. Them, but in general, the field of view looked completely comparable, if not bigger to me. Like I said, not A-B testing, just initial, put the goggles on and compare. It looked pretty comparable to uh, the HDO field of view. So that's something I'm pretty excited about. But ultimately today, what I want to test is latency. Obviously I haven't had my goggles in hand, so I've been bugging all of my friends that have Orcas and asking them what they thought of the new field of view, if the firmware was good. And I had a handful of people tell me that they felt like maybe the racer view was a little bit latent. Now latency is very very hard to test and I don't have like the LED circuits and stuff to do that so I'm gonna do the test that I've done in the past for like DJI gear and stuff and that's like a simple clap test so I've got this GoPro I've got another one set up just like it on 240 frames per second I'm gonna stick these in the goggles I'm gonna turn on an FPV feed and we're gonna do a comparison test we're gonna do a few different comparisons obviously we're gonna have HDOs and the Orca's being tested at the same time, so I won't have a control. It'll be a comparison between the two. So we, we will first test the HDOs against the Orca's in racer mode with the smaller field of view, and then we'll go back and we'll test it again with the HDOs versus the Orca's with the freestyle view, which is the larger field of view. So I will say, just before I even test any of this stuff, if the Orca's have the same latency as the HDOs, I think I'm I think I'm gonna go with them, but time will tell. So a little bit about the testing methodology. I'll have a GoPro looking at a screen in the HDOs, GoPro, a different GoPro looking at a screen in the Orcas. I'm gonna have an FPV feed fired up. And in the FPV feed, I'm gonna essentially clap. And that's gonna make a noise that the GoPros will hear. And then you're gonna see my hands clap in the feed in the GoPro via the goggles. So we'll be able to measure how close was seeing the clap to hearing the clap. And then additionally, was that gap further or closer on the HDOs versus Yorkas? So uh, let's get it set up and see how they shake out. So here we are in the project uh, to the left here. This is all the stuff that I've edited so far. To the right here is my Orca file and my Fat Shark file. So each frame in this frame rate, if I look here, that's one frame. That is 4.16 milliseconds. That's gonna be our margin of error. And then additionally, those two cameras are not in sync. So it appears to me that the Orca one about half a frame ahead of the Fat Shark one. So we're going to keep that in mind. Let's go back here in the timeline. You can see that we are slowed down to each frame is uh, 4.16 milliseconds. And uh, here's where we hear the sound, but it looks like we saw the sound before we heard it. Is that proper? Oh no, no. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 frames, that can't be. 15 times 4.16. 62 milliseconds of latency? Oof, okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's go to another one here. 
So this is where we heard it. I'm kind of bamboozled here. That's where we heard it. Scroll back till we see it. So here's where we see the the fat sharks slapped together. Here's where we see the orcas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Wow. I guess what I'm getting at is I'm not trusting my results right now. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off of here and try to reevaluate my test method methodology and see if there's something I've messed up, something that needs to be redone. As it stands in these preliminary results and I'm not done I can't leave it like this yeah I just I can't even believe that guys I flew orcas for a couple months had a lot of issues with the screen size but by no means do I think that it was uh, 71 seconds additional latency yeah I can't even I can't even wrap my head around that so let me retest and I will get back to you cutting to, to the chase here I finally got a pretty good methodology made up I did have to go back and do a control clip because one of my GoPro cameras literally had like 60 to 70 milliseconds more latency than the other so that means it these results you might be able to throw them out but uh, i think you'll be interested in how it came out so did the first test and thought that the orcas were way slower way more latency than the uh, the fat sharks so i had to go back and do a second test but then i forgot to test the difference between race mode and freestyle mode so here is the final test let me just kind of show you what's going on here i did a control group right here that is essentially me clapping without the goggles you can see here here's the audio peaks they're about 70 milliseconds apart in in real time but I've got it synced up perfectly frame by frame with the video so you see then I took that same clip and dragged it forward I cut out everything in between but I kept the same alignment and here's the clip between the goggles left one is our fat sharks right is orca and you can see they're pretty freaking close here now the screens are refreshing much slower than the camera is recording each frame in the session here is like four frames on the camera but you can see orcas do beat the fat sharks and this is in freestyle mode without dvr that's what we're looking at freestyle mode without dvr orcas are beating the fat sharks by about a frame so that could be anywhere between four and zero milliseconds we did that and then let's fast forward here i just went back and clicked record on the goggles so that now we have freestyle mode with DVR going and we can see here that the orcas once again are beating the fat sharks by about a frame fast forward again there was a big pause here because I actually had to take the goggles and put them on my face to put them into racer mode orcas on the right still fat sharks on the left and I haven't actually looked at this result yet go to a different sample Hopefully I clap closer to the middle of the screen. Here we go. So racer mode appears to be the same. So about a half a frame to a frame quicker than the fat sharks. And then this final one is going to be racer mode on the orcas with DVR. And once again, about a half of a frame. So and that's consistent with the latency test that I saw from RC Shim. Nonetheless, I wasn't certain that his, I, I didn't know if his latency test was through the module or through the direct AVN, but those, my friends, are the results. So the orcas are maybe one to two milliseconds faster than the than the fat sharks. I feel pretty confident of that result now, so I want to go out and fly them and see if I notice anything. I did have friends that thought that maybe they were latent, but it's so hard to test like this. You know, like A-B testing, you're trying to get used to a new set of goggles. You have something that you're used to and going back and forth, uh, that kind of thing. But um, I'm pretty pumped up. I'm hoping that my eyes like the orcas better because I would love to have that built-in DVR. I'd love to have the future possibilities that the uh, Connect module gives you, but um, time will just have to tell on those things. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful, guys. Thanks for checking it out, and we'll catch you next time on Heart of America FPV. Later.